the assessment of a patient who possibly could be experiencing a stroke. As you can see behind me, this is the suspected stroke algorithm developed by the American Heart Association. Now, in an advanced cardiac life support class that we offer, we go over the entire algorithm. But today, I'm just going to talk about what is at the very top of the algorithm, which is understanding, is this person really having a stroke? So how do we do that? How do we assess for that? Well, we use the Cincinnati Stroke Scale. The Cincinnati Stroke Scale has a combination of three assessments that a healthcare provider or member of the community can do to assess for a stroke. The first thing that you would do in the Cincinnati Stroke Scale is have the suspected stroke victim smile. So by having them smile, you would look, is the smile symmetrical, even on both sides of the face, or is their facial droop noticeable? If there's facial droop noticeable, then that would be abnormal. The second thing you would do is you would have the suspected stroke victim hold their arms both out in front of them, palms facing up for at least 10 seconds. If they're equal and they are able to hold their arms there, then that would be not a sign of a stroke. However, if one arm were to drift downward or if they were not able to raise one arm upward, then that would be abnormal. The third and final part of the Cincinnati Stroke Scale is assessing their speech. You ask them to repeat the sentence, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. If there's any slurred speech or poor use of words, they're not able to say a word correctly, or if they're not able to speak at all, then this could be a sign that the victim is having a stroke. If one of any of the three parts of the Cincinnati Stroke Scale assessment is abnormal, there's a 72% chance that that patient is having a stroke. It's time to activate the emergency response system and get that patient to the nearest stroke-approved facility for further care. 